I looked everywhere. Big Mike, I couldn't find your ring. But I did find this. Don't give me this because you think I'm upset. The assistant manager's vest is a sacred vestment. No, I know. Believe me. But you're the best. You can handle anything. And I would be proud to have you as assistant manager. Although, I understand if you couldn't, you haven't quite forgiven me yet. I just want you to know that I'm really sorry about the ring. Marriage isn't about a ring. It's a lifelong commitment of compassion and understanding, especially for your spouse's idiot relations. All is forgiven. Here, this is yours. And for what it's worth, you have my permission to marry my mom. Son. So, Beacon, it's a, it's a place to start. Bringing us to the long-delayed and much-anticipated chat. The other night when you repeated what Awesome said about us being next having kids, it scared me. Okay. And I wanted to tell you earlier, but, um, I didn't, and I've been thinking about it all day long. And Heather kept poking the topic with a needle. You're nothing like her. For a long time, I was exactly like her. And it took me a night in the guts of the building to realize that I'm not anymore. At all. And I don't want to be. But I, I do need to take things slow. I'm not ready for parenthood either. One day, hopefully, but not now, not yet, anyway. Who are we kidding? I'm barely on solid food myself, so. <laughs> okay, so, slow. Super slow, really slow. You tell me, ready or not ready. Okay. We're on a trip. One of us forgets our toothbrush. Do we share? I am ready to share your toothbrush. Oh, oh, using the bathroom. Door open or shut? Door shut. Always. Preferably with the sink running or the radio on. Yes. Yeah. Uh... Oh! Whoa! Whoa, uh... Wow. Wowee! Wow. Uh... <clears throat> oh.